Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is an Indusit washing machine. It's seen better days. It's an IWC 6125. It's missing its lid, it's missing its door. I don't know if it works. It's disgusting. It's all rusty. So I'm going to throw a brick in it. To do that, I need to hotwire it. And to hotwire it, I need a wire. So I think this wire here will do. So if I unscrew this little thing here, I should be able to get in behind and take the wire, plug wire that comes with it. Get some other bits my hand in here. It's obviously not plugged in. Yeah, it just lifts up. That's cool. There's a few little things going on here at the same time. So that's the suppressor, that uh, mains filter, a couple of capacitors, and a bit of a choke coil, I think. So what that is, we need to undo these clips here. So it's going to be a bit of fun. I'll do this off camera, I think. So these are actually soldered in position, which means I can't use them. So that was a dead start. I need to get another cable from somewhere. So this one has a little uh, motor control board down here, which I am going to just cut the wires on because I want to see if there's anything valuable on that board off camera. But uh, the machine is a dud. I don't need the wiring loom. Don't need any of that stuff. So let's get that out of there. Then what's this holding on with? A couple of clips, is it? Weird. go and to get this thing off here so that I can see the pin out on the motor that's what we're really interested in today I've made this as obnoxious as possible this little plastic clip come on there we go um, release this earth And then release this clip and I'll take off these connectors on the on the element at the back there so that's that board out of the way we've got a bit of space to work what are we dealing with right two white cables here if we can see this these two white cables go to the taco up here on the back this unit on the back of the motor then we've got a cable here black by the looks of things and over to this one in this plastic sheath we've got grey it goes to the brush so black to a brush grey to a brush and then red and brown seem to go to the stator winding and if you want to check out what's standing behind all of this the electricity behind it and wiring behind it check out my video on how to wire or simple speed control how to wire a universal washing machine motor so looking on the bottom here we've got six pins two on the left are white going to the taco just ignore them no earth on here, one missing in the middle. Um, so what I need to do is I need to put the electricity in to a brush. Let's see, is that gonna go? This thing's a bit bent, I need to squeeze that up a bit. Spade connector, tighten that up a bit. Hopefully that'll grip, that's more like it. Into a brush and out from a coil. That one's a bit bent as well. I think I've been using a heavy hand to remove these from machines. I don't want it loose, you see, because uh, it needs to grip on whenever we're wrecking this machine. That's nice and tight. Okay, and then I need a little piece of wire with a spade connector on each end, what I call a jumper, to jump from a coil or a brush to a coil or a brush. So it has to go from a coil to a brush. Um, so, if you look at it from the live side, or the phase side, into a uh, winding on the stator, then from the other end of that winding, the brown goes to the jumper, which jumps it across to a brush, which is grey, and then from the black, the other brush comes out to the blue. And that's it, so I'm going to plug this in, and we should hear some noise. This machine's been, uh, well, it's from an unreliable source, let's put it like that, so I've no idea if it works. If it does, Let's hear if the motor goes. Hey! Okay, so that one works. Let's just have a look at the motor spec over there. It's a Welling motor. HX GN1L.52. 
There you go. For a spin, it should use 300 watts. Now, what can we throw in it? Excellent. Let's have a go at that. Check out my other videos for washing machine destruction. That's where this one's going to go. It'll be in the playlist probably before it's released. So if you check out my washing machine destruction playlist, you'll get a view of all sorts of crazy stuff. Check out my other channel, Wash Smash, for shorter snippets of washing machine destruction. And uh, subscribe to either the playlist or the channel, either channel or both, if you like this kind of stuff. There's also a playlist of how to wire washing machines, how to wire washing machine motors. That might be really useful if that's what you're here for. This will only give you maximum speed. You need to regulate that speed somehow, and there's other ways of doing that. So check out my other videos for how to do that. Cool. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below. See you later.